Hello everyone and welcome to another parent workshop. I'm Anith Benjamin, the Family Engagement Specialist here at the Early Learning Coalition of Palm Beach County. And we want to thank you all for joining us this evening. And today we're going to be discussing our voluntary pre-kindergarten um, program, also known as VP. Okay, so if you have a four-year-old or a child that's about to be four, um, or you just want general information on exactly what VPK is, this video is perfect for you. We're going to go ahead and allow you some time to share this video so more, more parents can have access to it. And while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so hopefully you guys shared the video and let's get right into the presentation. So what is voluntary pre-kindergarten? Well, the abbreviation is VPK and it's a high quality education program for all four-year-old children living in Florida. And it's a free program. It costs nothing um, to be a part of it. And also research shows that children who participate in a high quality pre-kindergarten program have a better school attendance rate and develop um, lifelong social and emotional skills. Um, who's eligible for free PK? Well, a four-year-old child, um, child who lives in Florida, and they must be four um, years old before September the 1st of the current school year. What documents are needed? Well, you need a proof of residence in Florida. And here are some of the, of the documents you can use to prove that. So you can use your utility, cable, or home phone bill dated within 12 months of the child's application. You can use a pay stub dated within 12 months of the child's application. You can use a residential rental agreement or receipt from a rental payment dated within 12 months of the child's application. Or you can use a government issued document, example, a driver's license. So you do not need all of these documents, but you can use one of them to prove a residence of your residence in Florida. The next document that you need is proof of child's age. So you can use your original or certified copy of the child's birth record. You, you, you can use your original or certified copy of the child's certificate of baptism or other religious record accompanied by evidence David sworn to by the child's parent that the certificate is correct. You can use an insurance policy on the child's life in the force for at least two years. And you can use a passport or certificate of arrival in the United States. Once again, you do not need all these documents. You just need to use one for the proof of your child's age. So those are the documents you need. You need proof of residence and proof of child's age. And like I stated, you can use any of the things that I listed on here or said on here as proof of child's um, age and proof of residence. So the VPK options are the school year program. So that school year program is uh, 540 instructional hours. Um, the class sizes, um, they don't exceed 20 students within the lead instructor and assistant and usually starts around um, when school begins, so around August um, time in the fall. So that's when the school year program um, starts. The other option is our summer program. So it's a 300 instructional hours. The class size is not to exceed 12 students and most class sessions begin um, the following um, June of the um, academic year, so in the summer. The next VPK program option is our specialized instructional services, which is VPK SIS. So this is designed for children with special needs who have a current individualized education plan from the school district and it takes it takes place in, it doesn't take place in a traditional classroom setting. So that's what our VPK um, program options are. We have the uh, school year um, option, we have the summer, and we have the VPK SIS. So you will pick whichever program fits your child best that you feel like is the best one for your child. Next is choosing a VPK provider. So. When choosing a VPK provider, definitely research and visit several VPK programs. Consider your um, family needs and preferences when it comes to the VPK provider that your child um, needs. And you can also contact our um, the ELC's Child Care Resource and Referral Team for a customized listing and um, 
yeah, when it comes to um, choosing a provider, choose a quality childcare program that you and your child are both excited for. And once you do the application, um, you'll have to wait for your, the application to be processed. Once the application is processed, you print out the certificate and you give it to the provider that your child of that you want your child to attend. So you can start looking for providers before um, you do the application, but it's best to, you know, already um, do the application so you um, could already give them the certificate, whatever is better for you. So when it comes to applying for BPK, you can visit our website at familyservices.floridaearlylearning.com. You can also visit um, elcpalmbeach.org as well to apply. Um, and it, you can click the BBK tab so it can take you to this website. You can call um, for assistance um, with your BBK application and speak to our child care resource and referral um, service um, specialist so they could assist you with your BBK listing to see what BBK, um, you know, pro, um, provider that you would like your child to um, go to. And um, for applying in person, you can make an appointment to visit one of our offices to get assistance in person. So those are the three ways, the two ways that you can apply and then you can call us for assistance with your application or if you need a provider's listing. So hopefully this video um, helps you out understand exactly what BPK is, exactly how to apply and the documents you needed. Um, BPK is a great program for your child to prepare them for kindergarten. So definitely look into it and um, hopefully um, this video helps you out. So we'll see you guys next time. Have a nice one.